Oh. What's going on guys? It's Jake. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the newly released Heaven Pegasus. This is a stamina type booster and it actually has a click recovery gimmick and um, I don't really know how well it's actually going to work in real life, but I guess we're going to find out. Real quick, if you did not see my last video where I unboxed the Triple Booster set, more specifically the new Lord Spriggan, which you guys should definitely go check out, by the way, I am actually doing a giveaway for both Heaven Pegasus and for the Spriggan set. To join in on the Heaven Pegasus giveaway, all you have to do is join my Discord. I'll have it in the description and in the comments. It's kind of a Discord exclusive thing. It's really awesome though. You guys should definitely go join. And then to join in on the Spriggan set, I'll actually have a Gleam link in my community tab. And hopefully, unless it gets removed by YouTube or something, I'll have it in my description and in the comments of this video and in my Spriggan video. So go check that out if you want to win yourself a triple booster set. First up, we are going to take a look at the box. Now, this is a booster, so it does not come with a launcher, and it is a stamina type, like I said before. And the owner for Heaven Pegasus, his Peg Pegasi? Pe Pegasuses? And the owner of Heaven Pegasus's name is Pot Hope. Pretty interesting name. And taking a look at the back, we can actually see the stats for the bay and all of the parts that come with it. And because this is a booster, it doesn't really have that many new parts, but the parts it does come with are pretty interesting and we'll take a look at those. So diving straight into the box, Sadly, I did not get a limited gold version. I really do want to build up a collection of those though, but they're just so dang expensive, man. The first part we're going to be looking at is a new driver to this booster. It's never been seen before and it is called Low. Now Low is a stamina driver, obviously, and it's kind of like Metal Eternal, just like we got Orbit Metal with Dread Bahamut in the Triple Booster set. You can pretty much say this is Eternal Metal, although it is a little bit different. The metal disc part of the driver is free spinning, which should be good for stamina, I guess, but the little notches in the metal do worry me a little bit, and I feel like that'll overall hurt stamina in the long run, but we'll just have to test it out later. Next up, we have the disc and frame, and these parts are not new at all. We have the disc, which is 10, and the frame is proof. It's nice to get another proof. That's the disc that didn't come on Guys Fafnir. You had to buy it separately. Takara Tomi, getting, getting their money. But this version of proof is gray, which is nice. I only have one proof, and it's the green one that's supposed to go with Guys Fafnir, so getting another one for the collection is nice. But we have 10 yet again which i guess is cool I, i'm not really against 10 and it kind of has this winged design i guess which goes with pegasus overall so it overall it, it fits pretty well but we've just gotten 10 so much recently 10 and double o are the discs that i think we see the most from like random boosters and just boosters in general so you know it's cool but i already have like 50 of them and then finally, guys, we have the layer itself, which is Heaven Pegasus. And like I said earlier in the video, the gimmick for the Heaven layer base is that it has a click recovery gimmick. Basically, in battle, as the Beyblade gets close to bursting, these yellow wings will pop out, and if it makes contact a certain way, it'll act as a button. You push that button, and then it recovers clicks. Whether it actually works as well as it's supposed to, I'm kind of skeptical on, and we'll just have to test that out a little bit later. But just talking about the way that the bay looks, I think it looks really, really nice. I love the color scheme that they went with. The Pegasus GT chip does not have the best teeth or anything, but it's really not supposed to, or else this release would be kind of strong on its own. But now guys, without further ado, it is time to move on to the test battles. It's time to see if the gimmick for this bay actually works or if it's kind of just all marketing. So let's just get right into the battles. And here we go with a test battle for Heaven Pegasus. We're gonna be putting it up against Lord Spriggan. We're gonna see how that does. And then a couple of other GT bays as well. So let's just get started. Oh, oh no. Oh boy. Okay, that's rough. Um, 
the next one. All right, super light launch. Maybe that'll make it burst less. Seems like it's working. Uh-oh, stamina's waning though. And there it goes. Took one click. Pegasus also took like one click there. Take on Slash Valkyrie now. Okay, oh, whoa, it's going all wild. Look at it. Whoa, huge hit. And Heaven Pegasus is done. Okay. Huge hit. Whoa. And I think it's, yep, it actually won that one. Wow, maybe the gimmick actually worked that time. Or just got really lucky. But there is a win for Pegasus. Uh-oh, Valkyrie spinning around. Let's see if, if Pegasus can win the stamina battle here. Probably can. It's gonna be close. Oh, Pegasus is dropping off. Oh, but it is able to beat Slash Valkyrie. Now it's time to see what it can do against Spriggan. Oh, good hit right there by Spriggan. Oh, circling around. This is actually good for Pegasus. If it could take this stamina finish. Here we go. The winner is Spriggan. Okay, Spriggan takes the very first round. Oh, making good contact, Spriggan. Oh, and it just, just falcon punches Pegasus out of there, sending each part, one part, one part, and another part over here. And Pegasus is donezo. That's where I'm going to wrap up the test battles. Overall, Pegasus really did not do that hot. I think maybe the gimmick worked. It's kind of hard just to tell straight away. But in some battles, it did not do well at all. And in some, it actually held its own. So, I... I don't know, I, I don't really see this being that great. Maybe with the with the Gin layer weight it'd be better, but as of right now, it's kinda disappointing performance-wise. And there we go, guys. That is gonna wrap up the test battles. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button down below. We're gonna try and hit 1,000 likes, and make sure to go check out the giveaways that I mentioned earlier. As a final summary, Heaven Pegasus, it's, it's pretty nice. It's not, I mean, Okay, when you get it, it's, you know, it's pretty cool, but when you also just got Lord Spriggan, it doesn't really hold a candle to Spriggan at all. So, if you were going to try and decide between Lord Spriggan and Heaven Pegasus for some reason, it's pretty obvious which one you should go with. Low is pretty cool, although I just do wish the teeth on the Pegasus chip were a little bit better, but overall, I think the bay is pretty cool. But if you like this video, hit that like button. Hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation, join the Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun, and bay away.